You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thanks, Marshall. Today I'm going to talk about social events. I'm going to tell you what, there's a lot of money there. There's a lot of money there, especially in this time of... uh, automation and people there's been a growing momentum for universal basic income which would give a lot of people a lot of free time one of the things i've seen is despite everything despite uh all the online stuff despite people not going to retail things people still want to socialize people still want to get out seen be seen um, talk to people, see people, even online dating and stuff. There's still some people will probably want to meet people the old fashioned way. I'm going to tell you what, there's a big opportunity for people to organize events, you know, and it could be anything like, you know, there's a lot of people I think would love, like, uh, like we got a lot of singles out here. I think there's a lot of people who would love some singles party where they can get out and talk to people or, you know, there's some people who do like uh, speed dating events. I think people would love something like that. You know, they got meetups, things like that. I think people like that. And if you a person who can organize those things and, you know, maybe charge a little bit of money. You can you can make out like a bandit because it's so much. And this is especially even though these videos are for whoever wants to view them. It's something I think is very lucrative for black people. Really, because one of the things with us is we're very social as a group. Very social. So it's social events. You just need somebody who's going to be social and can organize these things. Right. And but it's so much like, I, you know, and it's funny, I've known I've known several event organizers, like everything from expos to like parties at clubs and everything uh, or people who are just doing that on the side. Because what it would it take? OK, you need to know where to get a venue. You need to uh, whatever you need for if you need a DJ, you could probably find one. Um, you know, whatever you need, catering, everything. Because that's the thing. If you do a social event, you actually create jobs, too. You know, like I knew this. um, And you actually give opportunity because I've known this woman. She actually did a relationship conference type of thing. Right. And I was like looking at it. It's like, oh, wow, I could do that. Because a lot of times it just takes money and some advertising. And with social media, you can do it. But it can bring people together and also you get people who you actually create opportunity for other people because usually, especially like a lot of the events, expos that I'm familiar with and even fashion shows, usually the people will all set the calls by having vendors. You know, the vendors pay a fee. So it's like you empowering not just you're not just bringing people together, but you actually empowering some businesses, which I think is a brilliant is is brilliant. And like I said, this is something black folks can do, you know, because you go, you can, you know what? You can't really automate social events. You can't have a computer put together a social event, even no matter, even if it got AI, even if it was like a, uh, like intelligent, it can answer your questions or whatnot, which we probably have out there. We just haven't been introduced to us yet, but. People still need that human touch. That's the that's the key to it. See, don't under, don't look at it in terms of just business, but a basic human need. Despite everything, people need to interact with people. People need to get out. Sometimes people just need to walk around with other people. You know, even if they're not even talking to them. See, that's the one thing. That's that's the one thing people got to remember. Despite all this stuff, the online, everything, if people remember that one thing about the social, that people have a need to socialize, they have a need to look at people, they have a need to be aroused by other people, you can always make some money. And see, you can, you know, like I said, you could do parties, singles parties, speed dating events, 
you can do expos you can do like an author expo or you could do you know an art expo shoot you can do an expo on natural goods a vegan a food expo oh yeah food expo people love those and you have some people out there you know they make their money like you got the like i said you got the event organized but you also have vendors you know you have some vendors that's all they do is sell stuff at events especially a lot of food vendors they'll just go across they'll just travel get this stuff in a car travel across the country and do some stuff and it can actually be it can be lucrative if you know how to do to find the right things to do it can actually be very lucrative and you know and it can be different things so and, you know it don't have to be an expo like you know i used to do um and probably will start doing again like workshops you know seminars and everything you know and it's like you can i mean it's so many things entertainment everything so it's just definitely something to look into like if you have just a really a gift for not even just organizing but just uh dealing with people because a lot of it comes down to can you interact with people like i knew this uh young lady right <laughs> i'm saying young she's she's in her 50s probably but she 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 looks about like in her like 20 late 20s right but that's what she does and it's amazing she she's done several events where she would bring men and women together for relationship purposes like conferences panels stuff like that speed dating i actually liked how she did it too it was more she got people to get there more based on her personality than like advertising or anything because you know in a regular business because she you know this was a side thing for her you know she was interacting with a lot of women now being very attractive she didn't have any problems attracting men so you know she tell the men hey you know what why don't you come to this event and you know like i say very physically attractive very personable and everything the men be like all turned on and come then you know so she knew the men would come into the event and then the women you know, all she had to do was say to the women, hey, there's going to be a bunch of guys here. <laughs> and it was like, boom, you make some money. You know, when, uh, and I'm actually thinking about myself uh, doing some social events. And when that thinking about it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen in the future. But it's not, you know, it, it might not be expos or something, but more like singles events or something where men and women can come together. You know, people don't want to do that um, online thing and, you know, maybe have a certain theme, so I attract certain people to come to it, right? But yeah, that's something to look into. Just organizing events. Maybe you could do a party, you could do a cookout. And like I say, it is something that a lot of people actually probably have a talent for. If they have a talent, the gift of gab, or talking with people, you know, you just need a spot. You know, a lot of people, it, like I say, I've known a lot of people used to have, it, it used to seem like every other, every third person I knew, especially back in the day, had some production company or something. <laughs> you know, they give a party or a cabaret, do something like that. Right. You know, and it's, um, in the coming times, you know, like I say, we got you know, automation and people talking about universal basic income, a lot of businesses going out. People still need those social type of businesses. People still want to meet each other. So anyway, think about what I'm saying and let's go make that money.